Welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving lead code 953, verifying an alien dictionary. And in an alien language, surprisingly, they also use English lowercase letters, but possibly in a different order. The order of the alphabet is some permutation of lowercase letters. Given a sequence of words written in an alien language and the order of the alphabet, return true if and only if the given words are sorted lexicographically in this alien language. In case you don't remember, lexicographically basically means that it, one word, if it's before the other, would come before it in the dictionary, right? So for example, app and apple, this is not lexicographically sorted because app, because it's shorter, should come before apple. Even though they have the same first three letters, app should come before apple because it's shorter. So basically, does one word come before the other one in a dictionary? That's how you can think of lexicographically sorted. Let's look at some examples. So we're given hello and lead code as our words, and we're given this is the order. So we want to double check, uh, you know, does hello come before uh, lead code? And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to check letter by letter until there's a divergence and that will determine if they're sorted. So let's see, the first letter is H and L. So obviously these aren't the same. So we need to check where does H occur in our dictionary? It occurs as the first letter and L occurs as, oh, sorry, it's the zeroth letter or first letter. And then L is the second letter or index one. So because H comes before L, then we know that hello will come before lead code um, in the dictionary. Same thing in the English dictionary, all words that start with H will come before all words that start with L. Okay, so this one's pretty simple. Uh, let's do another one, world, world, and row. So what we want to do is now that we have multiple words, we just want to compare them pairwise. So does word come before world and does world come before row? So let's double check this. So here we have a case where we have divergence at the third letter because W-O-R-D comes before, um, uh, it starts both of these words. So there, there's no information we can get from them because they're the same. We have to go until the first divergence, which is at the, oops, it's not at the D, it's at this L, right? So does D come before L in our um, dictionary? Well, let's double check. So we see that L actually comes before D. So that means that world should actually come before word in this dictionary. So therefore, this is not sorted. Um, okay, let's look at Apple and app. Actually, they've given us the English um, language to basically just show us what lexicographical means. Um, and because app is actually shorter, it should come before Apple. So those are your examples. How do we want to solve this? Well, you have basically got a sense of the algorithm, which is that we're going to compare words, right? Compare uh, words. And we want to compare pairwise words. If we already know that word comes before world, there's no need to check that world comes before row. We'll just ch check um, pairwise words. So we're going to compare words. And we're going to look for a divergence. Look for a divergence. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go index by index through the word. And as soon as two characters are not the same, then we will simply compare and look up their order in our order string. Now, obviously, looking up the order every single time would be very inefficient because we have to parse the entire string. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to build a dictionary which maps each letter to its position. And this will give us very fast lookups inside of the order. So we can just compare in constant time, big O of 1, instead of big O of N as a string parse, right? This is very slow, and it would increase our time complexity. So we want to use big O of one by putting it in a dictionary. So that's all we need to do is compare the words, see if they're if the one word, the left word, the one that comes first, uh, its position when we get a divergence actually comes uh, it, the position of the character is actually before the second character we're comparing. And if it does, then we're good, we can continue. If not, we just return false. Okay, let's go to the code editor and type this up. Three steps, basically build this dictionary first, then we're gonna compare the words character by character, looking for a divergence. When we find it, we either verify that things are sorted or not. And we also have to watch out for the case where um, they may start with the same letters, but one is actually longer than the other, and we have to check for this uh, in our thing. So let's go to the code editor and type this up. 
Okay, let's write some code. Remember that the first thing we need is to build the order dictionary, which is going to map each letter to its index inside of order, so we can easily access that index and determine whether or not one character comes before the other. So we're going to say self.orderdict is going to equal to a dictionary where the key is letter and the index is i for the i letter in enumerate order. So basically we go over order, index, and letter by index and letter and basically populate our dictionary here. The key is letter, the index as the value. All right, now what we want to do is we want to basically compare two words, um, pairwise words. So basically the first word with the second word, the second word with the third word, third word with the fourth word, fourth with the fifth, and so on and so forth. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to say for word one, word two in zip. So we're going to zip together uh, words and words starting from the first index. So this will basically give us what we want, like one word with one word one with word two, word two with word three, and so on and so forth. And what we want to do now is we're going to say, if not self dot, and we'll define this function in a second, words are lexicographically sorted. So we'll define this to basically give us whether or not the words are sorted. We'll pass in word one and word two. And if this function returns false, then we just want to return false because we know that the words aren't sorted. We will just return true if all of the words are sorted because if they weren't this if statement would trip and we would have returned false already what we want to do now is just to find the actual function for this so we're going to say def uh, words are lexico and we're going to pass in word one and word two what we want to do here is go over index by index for both of the words and compare their characters and double check whether or not the character in word one is actually coming before the character in word two, assuming they're not the same character. If they're the same character, we just move to the next one. As soon as we get divergence, that will tell us whether or not um, they're sorted or not. Okay, so remember that we want to use the indexes of the smaller word and the reason for that is if we use the bigger one then we could have an out of bounds exception so we're going to use for i in range of whatever the minimum of the length of word one and the length of word two is we're going to say okay if there's a divergence we want to double check whether or not our word actually comes before our letter comes before the other one so what we're going to do is if the positions of the characters are not the same, then we need to make a check here. So we're going to say if self dot order dict. So we're going to look into our order dictionary for whatever word one of I is. So word one of I is the current character that we're processing. If its position does not equal to the, the position of the other character. So we're going to say order dict of word two of I. If their positions are not the same, then we know that we have a divergence here, right? Obviously, they're not the same character. Now, what we want to do is, okay, if there is a divergence, if they're not the same character, the only time this is okay, and this would imply that we're lexicographically sorted, is if word one, its character, actually comes before words two's character in the order dictionary. So we need to check that. So we're going to say self dot order dict of word one of i if this value is actually less than self dot order dict of word two of i obviously if it's less than that means it comes before it because the smaller the index the earlier it comes in the strings so therefore if it's a smaller index then it will come before it so if word one its character actually comes before word two's character, then we're fine. We can simply uh, return true here. Otherwise, if it's the other way around, then we want to return false. Now, before we do anything, we can't just return um, false here, or we can't return true here, because we have to consider the case where, let's just say we have app and apple. So we'll loop over the length of the smaller word, which is app and apple, but, if let's say we have the English uh, language and we have Apple, it should not come before app because app is shorter. So what we want to actually check here is 
we've made sure that all the characters match because app and apple will basically start with the first three characters we need to actually make sure that app will come before it so the word one in this case should always um be shorter than word two or they can be the same word right if it's app and apple it doesn't matter which one comes first they're the same word but if it's app and apple then app should always come first and we're going to check that by saying return does the length of word one uh word one is it actually less than or equal to the length of word two and that's how we're going to define this lexicographical function so let's run this and Okay, cool. So it is accepted and we accepted. Cool. What is the time and space complexity of this algorithm? So let's kind of break it down piece by piece. So what do we need to do here? We need to build our order dictionary. Um, this is just going to be all of the Eng English letters, uh, lowercase ones. So this will only take big O of 26 because there's only 26 characters we can work with we've only been given lowercase letters. So this is just a big O of one operation. Then to actually go through all of the words will depend on the length of the word list. So it's just going to be um, big O of N. And then for each time we go through the word list, we're comparing them. And what are we doing? We are essentially going over character by character of each of the words, right? So in the worst case, how many comparisons are we gonna have to do? we're basically just going to have to go through every single word index by index. So let's just call this big O of M, where M equals to the sum of all the lengths of words in words, right? Because we have to go over index by index over every single word. So the amount of processing we're gonna do is dependent on basically the sum of all the lengths in words. And that's going to be our final um, time complexity is just big O of M. What is the space complexity? So similar to how we had big O of one to actually define this order dictionary, it's also going to be big O of one in the space. And the reason for that is because we are told that in the problem, if I could just pull it up here, um, we're only working with the order, uh, it's 26, there's only the English lowercase letters. So because of this, it's only, it's a constant space allocation. We know that there's going to be maximum 26 keys in our dictionary. This is just big O of one space. So that is how you solve um, verifying an alien dictionary. Quite a fun problem, relatively simple. It's quite easy to kind of figure out the intuition for it. This function is a bit complicated. I think it's a bit easy to get tripped up on this part, um, especially if you don't exactly know what lexicographically sorted means. But in general, the comparisons between the two characters, I think that's relatively straightforward. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave it a like and a comment? It really helps the channel grow. Subscribe as well to help me reach 10,000 subscribers. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.